Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at CBS News. I'm Vladimir Dutier. And I'm Lilia Luciana. Very excited to be sharing the desk with my old friend Vlad for the so first excited. time here. Good to see you. We're going to take a look at some of the stories we're following right now. One last day of campaigning for the candidates in Georgia as the race for the last undecided Senate seat comes down to the wire. Or Nicole Killian is in the Peach State once again with more on their final pitch to voters. Former President Donald Trump facing rebuke from officials in both parties after calling for parts of the U.S. Constitution to be terminated. But it's not just the former president drawing fire. And the nation's second largest city is considering a return to mask mandates as the number of COVID cases rise across the U.S. We'll talk with a doctor in Los Angeles on a possible reason for that spike. And later this hour, we'll have an update on jury deliberations in two high-profile criminal cases, one involving the Trump Organization and the other, former Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein and his sex assault trial in Los Angeles. Plus, no fury like a Swifty scorn. Taylor Swift fans are hoping to take Ticketmaster to court after being shut out of the chance to catch her live. All right, we are just one day away from Election Day in Georgia. Early voter turnout for the race between Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock and his GOP challenger, Herschel Walker, shattered records. More than 1.7 million Georgians voted early in person ahead of Tuesday's election. That's more than a quarter of all active voters in the state. Both candidates are hitting the campaign trail today to round up any last-minute supporters. CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian joins us now. She is in Atlanta at a Senator Warnock campaign event. Uh, all right, Nicole, so given the early voting numbers, it does seem like voter fatigue isn't as big of an issue as some thought it would be in this election. Uh, what are you hearing from the voters? Yeah, well, it's really not. I mean, as far as the voters that we 